one of the most notorious bosses of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is back, or at least his spawn anyway, and he's out for vengeance on Cal Kestis. Spawn of Ogdo is an extremely tough early optional boss battle, and my recommendation is to not even bother with it until at least your second or third visit back to Kobo. Whether you're attempting him early on or late in the game though, you'll still need to learn how to deal with his attacks, which is what we're here for. Note that this boss was played on the Jedi Master difficulty. First off, before the fight even begins, make sure to clear out the enemies above the trapdoor. You don't need any distractions for this fight. One other general tip for this fight is that I would recommend the dual blade stance. As it has the fastest attacks, you can guard cancel to abort and attack mid animation, which is helpful because the biggest challenge in this fight is the fact that Ogdo will occasionally unpredictably follow up his attacks with another one as the fight goes on. Speaking of attacks, Ogdo doesn't have very many, but many of them are fast, damaging, and must each be avoided in a different way. His main attack is a two-hitting bite attack. Simply parry both of these and get a quick strike in. Again, it's important not to get greedy in this fight, because he can follow up his attacks super quickly. Another one of his main attacks is an unblockable lunge. This has an extremely tight window to dodge, so my recommendation is to simply jump over it. He also does an attack where he jumps in the air and belly flops. The shockwave has to either be jumped over or just be far enough away from it. One of his most dangerous attacks is this unblockable bite, which needs to be dodged. Try to avoid it with a sidestep only, as double tapping the dodge button for the extra roll will send you too far away to properly counterattack. Once you take down a quarter of his life, he'll add two more moves to his repertoire. If he jumps back and readies his tongue, be ready to jump over it and don't touch any part of the tongue while it's out, otherwise you're dead. He will also spew out a bunch of acid on the ground, which is actually probably your best opportunity to deal significant damage to him. At this point, he will also start being a little more aggressive, following up his two-hit bite combo with another attack, so rein in the aggression as his life depletes. Once he gets below half of his life, he'll start doing this jump attack. If he's far away, ignore what I did here, jump backwards, and double jump forwards to avoid the shockwave. If he's close, dash under him, and then quickly jump to avoid the shockwave. Finally, if you get your super, remember that you're invulnerable during the activation, so use it in a pinch to get out of a bad spot. But don't get overconfident after activation, you still can get hit before the slow ends. And those are our tips for how to beat the spawn of Ogdo. It's a tough fight, but persistence and repetition will prevail in the end. Thanks for watching, and for more Star Wars Jedi Survivor, keep it here on IGN.